welcome to another episode of Building a Leadership Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Nikki C. This is brought to you by Bomb Global and the Connected Leaders Academy. Super excited to be on here with just amazing guests that we bring to you as much as we can every single day, every single week, just highlighting the amazing things that they're doing in their communities and how you can get a hold and connected with them to grow yourself and your business, both professionally. Uh, it has been absolutely amazing. We're in a week long celebration from our last 50 uh, guests. So I'm definitely going to add our link where you can actually go and see or listen to these podcasts that we have with these amazing individuals. But today's guest uh, met her through the Connected Leaders Academy and her name is Dominique Frazier, and she is helping six to seven figure entrepreneurs build a powerful offer and attract a steady supply of clients willing to pay five or six figures to work with them. Um, as one of the pioneers in the digital economy, uh, beginning in 2010, Dominique Frazier is an entrepreneur, author, speaker, and investor. According to the Hard Bacon app, she is one of the top 10 influencers discussing money in Canada with more than Okay, of course, I decided to forget to put do not disturb. So I just got a phone call, but that's live TV. It happens. Uh, it just happens. So uh, we are still talking about Dominique, and she showcases her strategies on social media, increasing her influence by encouraging successful entrepreneurs to grow their business faster by adding an ultra premium package. So without further ado, let's get her on. Super excited to have her today. Hello. Hey, Dominique, how are you? Hey, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Such a pleasure to have you here on the Building a Leadership Mindset podcast, where we, again, uh, just provide a platform to bring just some amazing people on doing amazing things. And just tell us a little bit about who you are, Dominique, what's your, a little bit about your backstory, where you're from, and what led you into the space you're in today? Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, I'm French Canadian. So my journey as an online entrepreneur started in 2010. So before that, I was a graphic designer. And, um, and actually, I started selling my, um, you know, knowledge online. And it's a, it's a very funny story because I was so sure it would never work. So I actually, um, you know, started just before Christmas in 2010, like the 23rd of December. And I decided, uh, actually, my, my, my landing page was ready at that exact moment, you know, at 11 at p.m. just before, you know, Christmas for most people here. And I was so sure it would never sell. And actually, at that time, I decided to, uh, because I was a graphic designer, but I became a photo retoucher. So I, I built, uh, I craft uh, an offer for like how to become a high level photo retoucher. And this is what I was selling online. It was my first offer, $7,500. And, and actually inside of 38 days, I sold 15 clients at that kind of, uh, you know, high, I would this high ticket offer. And it was my, my first uh, dip into the online uh, <laughs> selling industry. Wow. So you just put an offer out there. You had a, a ready perceived assumption that you were not going to go far with it, but it was totally the opposite. How, how did that make you feel at the time? And what mindset did you have to get into to actually move that and scale that? Actually, I just, you know, we, we hear a lot of coach uh, says that, you know, don't overthink, just do it, go into the action. I'm sure you're taking, you're, you're saying that to all of your clients all the time. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> and it's like, don't think too much. Just do it. Yeah, you will be afraid. Yeah, you will have doubt. You will be sure that it will not work. But do it anyway. And you'll see. So actually, this is what I did. I, I, I told myself, look, if it's not working, you know, I'll, I'll try at least. And if I'm selling like less than four people, I will reimburse everybody and it will be done. You know, I'll do something else of my life. <laughs> and if I'm selling more than four, then I will, you know, I will uh, record the program because I was pre-selling it. And actually, to my great surprise, I sold a 15. And at that time, 2010, you know, I had international clients right away. And people were, uh, you know, sending me the money in my bank account in Canada. And I was like, oh, my God. It, it was the beginning of the, you know, the all everything online and the, mm -hmm. the commerce. And I, I remember I was, you know, shocked how people could trust, you know, to send a lot of money overseas just to work with me. And, uh, and actually, I, I was also grateful at the same time. And at the end, you know, this specific program that I created uh, actually end up to be a, quite a great success because I trained one of the most uh, renowned photo retoucher out there. Uh, I have photo retouchers like some of my clients, uh, students that are not working in a lot of studios all around the world. So it's kind of nice, you know. <laughs> That is awesome. But I have a question because I, I think what our audience is really going to want to understand is what did you do prior to that for people to obviously invest in what you were doing? Did you have to do something like get noticed? Were there webinars you did before that? Was there um, any social proof that you had? Uh, to really share. Wow. Wow. No, because it was amazing. in 2010. I had like maybe, I don't know, 600 people following me on Facebook <laughs> at that time. It was a, a very small amount of people that were following me. And actually in 2010, when we were posting, everybody were seeing our post. That's the difference between then and now, you know? Now it's like 3% of our followings and sometimes it feels like almost zero. Uh, but at that time I had a very, very small following. And actually I was wondering who those people were because I was an artist and I had like a photo retouching studio. So I was wondering why people are following me. You know, it's not necessarily interesting. And what I realized is, you know, a lot of people are following you, maybe yes, for like the content you will create. But a lot of people are following you because they want to be you. They want to do what you do. They want to build a craft, a business like you, you have one. They want to have an incredible podcast. They want to have what you have, you know, and they're watching you to see, you know, how you're doing that. And this is what I realized is the first time that I post, like I said, it was like 11 p.m., the 23rd of December, 2010. And I just posted online, hey guys, would you be interested in to, you know, learning how to become, you know, a high-end photo retoucher. And at that time also I was, I was serving, uh, you know, clients like Moet Chandon, uh, Victoria's Secret. So I had, you know, good names as clients and I could show easily all of those clients how to get those, you know, high level clients too. So I think people were super interested to know more. So they filled the form. They, they, we met. And actually, I gave them the prize just at the end of the call. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> I remember because I, I created my, my own, uh, you know, six questions interview. Yeah. And at that time, the word closer was not a word that we were right. hearing, you know, and there was right. no closing courses available out there. <laughs> so I kind of. Uh, learn how to close by myself and it worked <laughs> wow that is true leadership I, I love what when you when you said at the very beginning you just do right if you have an idea and you put it out there you try it out the worst they can say is no we're not interested or it doesn't stick to something but there's always a new day a new opportunity to what well, you just had been you know 
really blessed to be, I think photo retouching is something that's huge. I am all about pictures and photos and saving those memories. And uh, those mean a lot. And I don't think that will ever go away. Right. Um, so at 20, you know, in year 2010, when we were going digital with a lot of the, um, the arts, uh, it, it was huge. People wanted to, to get in on that. So you taught them how to be, you know, high end uh, photo retouchers. And then where did you shift um, after that as far as what you're doing now? Do you still do that? No, I'm not doing that. I, I closed that school, that program. Unfortunately, uh, you know, Photoshop keep, keep evol evolving. And actually, it was a course that needed to be re uh, recorded over and over. So, and it's better when you're recording a course if you it could you know, last for 10 years and, <laughs> and it's good, you know, you're keep you know, using the same material, but actually in 2016, that's another interesting uh, story about mindset, because what happened is in 2015, I, I, I was, I got pregnant and I had my, my daughter and this is when things started to shift uh, actually badly. Because what I realize is when you are a service person, because I was, uh, I had an agency, a photo retouching agency too. But the moment I started from, like just posting online, like uh, my belly, you know, with the, my daughter's coming, clients stopped, uh, you know, calling. They all stopped calling. And my, my team was already, uh, you know, they, they were ready to take the, the contracts without me, without any problem. But because I was the boss, my clients thought, oh, you know what, Dominic, she's not available anymore. She's got a kid now. So like the mm. phone was not ringing. So I kind of took a year off. So I closed the door of the agency. I took it a, a year off to, you know, take care of my daughter. And then after a year, I was feeling like, like the, a shadow of myself. You know, I was thinking... I was a businesswoman once, you know, <laughs> it seems so far. And I remember, you know, because I realized also that I was not a mom at home type of person. I love my daughter, but I really love working too. So in September, 2016, I was, you know, I was thinking, okay, I need to go back online. I need to do something to start a new venture because I will die at home if I'm just continuing <laughs> to, you know, uh, take care of diapers. And <laughs> nope. So the tw and I decided. So a shift happens in my head. Sometimes you know when you arrive at the point wh where things needs to change. Now you know, like I will yeah. not do one more day in this situation. So I decided, like the 26th, I think of September. Uh, I needed money because I was changing apartment for October and the, the rent was higher. And I was thinking, oh my God, I, I don't have, you know, the money in my bank account. So what I decided to do is like to uh, just uh, advertise a webinar. And I, I didn't know what to do at that time. I was like, okay, what should I teach? Because yeah, I can teach always, you know, photo retouching, but I was having a lot of questions about how to make money online, how to transform your knowledge, you know, into, uh, you know, a, a product and stuff like that. So I decided to create a, a webinar that was 25 ways to make money online. And it seems super cheesy for me, like, like how to become an affiliate on Amazon and stuff like that. And I was thinking, everybody knows that, you know, but I did it anyway. And what I did, I passed like $300 in ads so at that time, ads were, we were getting like leads for 50 cents. So it was, <laughs> it was good. And then I did this first, you know, webinar to people. And because I had nothing to sell, no more courses. And I decided to just take a private group on Facebook and sell a, a membership. And mm -hmm. my goal was to give, 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 give a lot during the webinar and then at the end, sell, look, if you want more of those teaching, I can show you like how to do funnels, create ads, how to, you know, do organic also online. Join me in my group. And in the next year, I will be recording stuff. So I don't know if you noticed, but two times I sold in advance something that was not created yet. 
and it worked. Yeah. Actually, I had like, uh, I don't remember how many, but a lot of people entered to $47 per month and three of them bought like for a year long. Mm -hmm. So it gave me actually enough money to invest in ads again and do the webinar again. And inside of three months, I reached six figure. Wow. And again, you know, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I realized, okay, so I just, we, you just need actually to go there, you know, to go out there, attract people to you and pitch them something, yeah. whatever it is. And, and, and definitely honor everything that you're pitching, right? So how did you put together something that is going to be one of value to that people absolutely need because I think all these communities have such a powerful benefit to growth. I mean, I'm part of eight and I have two of my own. Um, so I, I definitely know the power of being uh, in these membership programs and the value that comes out of it. But when you were creating and building, what were like the core values of this membership and what were you offering that attracted them to saying, Hey, you know what, here's my, um, money i i'm in for your mission for the year what did that look like actually you have to listen to what people are asking people are already asking you what they need what they want you know you are the go-to person for something you know and if you realize you will see that everybody is coming to see like for an example when i started my first program everybody was asking me where where i should go to learn to do photo retouching. And I was like, mm, there's no school out there, no program. So nothing exists. But I kept receiving this question over and over and over. Like, I, I would like to do what you do. Where should I, I, I you know, I, I, I learn. And I was like, I don't know. And by the way, at that time, there was a lot of courses on DVDs, <laughs> you know, <laughs> available, like $200 for like a series of DVDs. And um uh, and I remember there was like the 200 bundles and there was my program at 7,500, you know, <laughs> there was nothing in between. <laughs> it was like a super high ticket thing or like, and I realized also at that time that my, my offer was way different because they were like most DVDs were, you know, offering like how to retouch like a face or do cosmetic retouching. And I was teaching people how to become a photo retoucher, you know, that's a little bit different. Yeah. So to come back to your question, this is it. You need to first answer what people are looking for, but also you have to, you know, uh, take everything that you know together and create a, an offer that doesn't exist out there. That is unique that you can become actually the, the, the unique solution. Uh, actually, no more people that will be, you know, no more um, people that, because right now we're selling a lot, we're seeing a lot of people online all selling the same thing, you know, but you have to transform your offer. So it's a unique proposition. Yeah. And if I'm taking, you know, back this uh, example of mine of this photo retouching offer, you know, I was not just teaching people how to retouch inside of Photoshop. I was also showing them how to learn more about the body parts and know how to change them. So I had my clients, my students draw, you know, on, you know, sheet of papers every day for two months. They had to do 20 minutes per day for two months to draw body parts. And they had also to make sculpture to understand, you know, all the curves you know, uh, on the face and they mm -hmm. had, and actually I took all of my knowledge, not only the photo retouching, you know, part, but all of my knowledge that I had as a graphic designer, as also an animator, because I, I was a 2D animator in my, my previous life. <laughs> well, we're going to have to have a conversation about that because <laughs> my son, he's an animator and oh. he's about, he just graduated. So he's about to start his business. And I would just love to uh, tap into uh, whatever you have on that. Yeah, absolutely. I, yes, I was a 2D animator. I worked on one of uh, Mini Wheat's ads <laughs> 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 a, a long time ago. It, it seems that it was another life. But I took all of those informations 
that I had from the movie industry, the animation industry, the, the graphic design industry, and the photo retouching industry. And I put all of this together to create an eight, prog eight month program. And this is why actually I never, even to these days, there's no other program that create the same result that I was creating at the time. So it's the same thing that we have to create with our own businesses. I agree. And I, I have to actually share a story because that's exactly how I started my notary coaching program. So I actually resigned from corporate America to become a notary, did it in about a year, um, in, in two years. Um, and people were also asking me, Hey, Nick, you know, how are you doing it? So I actually first created an email template that said, you know, what course I took, you know, what licenses I received, um, you know, the supplies you would need. And I kind of would just share it. And people would come back to me and say, no, Nikki, like, how do you know, how do I go in with confidence? These are the things I'm kind of struggling about, which, again, you have to listen to what mm -hmm. people are asking you. So I was able to create that program in 48 hours and had my first five clients in like less than a couple of days. So I started with that group and that's just started last year in March. And then this March, um, I've graduated 16 people and I'm actually happy. I actually have two that are currently in that program. And it just took all the expertise because I know that in the notary space, they only teach us like the laws and the step-by-step -step process, but they don't teach you like the, um, the, the, phone call, the assignment confirmation, making sure they have the documents needed when they get there, making sure they have the, the payments if possible. So there's so many other things. Um, and with the experience, right, you know, what did I encounter while I was there and what other people, so I put that all together and, you know, each year the coaching program um, grows and then, you know, I just update from group one. So I love that you, you shared it because you just put something together, you merged everything and you made something so special that people were like, okay, I need this. Right. And you did it for how long? Uh, what do you mean? You did your program, your retouching coaching. Oh, the retouching program was eight months. It was a very long study, but actually People were entering the program without not necessarily knowing how to retouch mm -hmm. properly. And they were fin finalizing the program senior artists. Oh, so gosh. they were able to place themselves in the biggest studios out there. So this is why it was a very long format. But it's a little bit different, you know, when you're coaching, you know, business owners or stuff like that, you know, it can be different. Mm -hmm. But actually, uh, you have to ask yourself, you know, how can I... I think the most important is how can I, you know, give a transformation that will last to the people I'm talking to. So how long do I need with that person to make sure that I'm creating like uh, something that will last over time for them? Because we see a lot of, you know, eight weeks program out there. You know, I don't have problem with eight weeks, but do you have to ask yourself, is, you know, my program of eight, it is, you know, eight weeks enough to create a lasting transformation because, okay. and this is where actually clients are happy. Absolutely. That that's as simple as it gets, but we're going to take a quick break. We're going to listen to our sponsor real quick, and we'll be back with uh, what you're doing right now, what you have working on and how people can get a hold of you. Give me one second. Hi, my name is Jose Escobar, and I'm the founder and CEO of the Connected Leaders Academy. We're a growing tribe, a community of entrepreneurs all over the world, globally, all across the country, high performers, titans of industry. If you're an entrepreneur and you're looking to grow personally and professionally, scale your influence, develop your skill sets, move the needle in your business, more clients, more money, more profit, the bottom line, and of course, grow your circle and your network like never before, this is where you want to be. Join the Connected Leaders Academy today. We are scaling massively. We want to welcome you in. Check me out on Instagram and on Facebook, the at symbol JASCO25. We look forward to having you join us. Take care. 
Hello, we are back here with Dominique Frazier, who also knows uh, that man on the screen, Jose Escobar with the Connected (laughs) Leaders Academy. Uh, Absolutely great community to be a part of. And again, that's how we connected. And that's the power of uh, community. So Dominique, tell us what you're working on right now. What is your current uh, mission? And how can people get a hold of you? Yes, actually, I decided to specialize myself in offer and pricing, because what I realized with time is, you know, when I I started, uh, you know, um, helping people with with their online businesses in 2016, there was not a lot of people talking about how to create a certification, how to create courses online, how to create funnels and stuff like that. But slowly, (laughs) it became very populate. Um, there's a lot of experts right now, like talking about all what the beginners needs to start an online business. So I decided to actually where I had, you know, a lot more fun was when I was helping people that were a little bit farther along. So they already have a funnel. They already have an offer. They already maybe have a group. Like you said, a lot of people have groups on Facebook, but they are not necessarily uh, making all the money they could make with those group, with those, even like podcasts also, oh, same thing, you know? So I saw a lot of people letting a lot of money on the table. So sometimes what they just need is to extend the funnel and to have what I call a first class offer. So right now it's kind of my specialty. So I help people to craft 25K offer or more, even sometimes six figure offers and to how to also implement this into their funnel, into their actual offer and find those elite clients willing to pay five, six figure to work with them. So that's, that's where I'm uh, having a lot of fun these days. (laughs) That is amazing. So what would you tell a uh, small business owner that may not believe that they can start at that price point and how do you get them to really see that vision? That's a really good question because this is the question that I got or not necessarily the question, but the reaction I got all the time is like, whoa, I no, nobody would pay that much for, you know, my knowledge. And actually most people are not most people, everybody that think that are wrong because the only person right now that's providing you to attract 25K, 50K, 100,000K, you know, clients is you. Just because you think it's impossible, you're not even trying, you know? So, and, you know, I have several examples. Like, uh, I can give you one of the examples of my of my clients that had, they already had, you know, a Facebook group, like a free one and a paid one. They had also one offer of 1000 It was a course online they had. And I remember the first time I told them, maybe you should have a 25K offer. They were like, our clients need help sometimes to pay 1000 how they can afford to pay 25 and what i made them realize is you know it's not the same clients you know most uh most online entrepreneurs uh, you said that before nikki you are investing in masterclass in mastermind you are investing in yourself so and, and me, myself too, you know, everybody in the Jose's group is the same. We are actually, actually, sometimes we bought a lot of online courses and we don't want online courses anymore. We want something more high level where we will be able to meet peers, you know, people to, at our level. So this is where actually business owner can have other level in their business. So to come back to this client that they had this, 1000 offer this is what i told them you know some of your clients maybe 10 percent of the people following you the people in your mailing list even people who bought could want i'm sure they want more it's just right now it's not available you don't have any offer you know under and they were thinking yeah but we need you know to go up the ladder you know one price point at a time like maybe three k 5k 12 and i told them no you can just right away have a 25k offer so we did it we tested it and and that's one of my favorite you know uh story because we were able to test it test the idea and see the difference 
So when we started working together, they were about to create like a two days event. Uh, the ticket was already sold out. So uh, I told them, don't change anything from your actual setup. Okay, so sell your 1K offer and let's see, you know, the results. And, but the next week, I will tell you exactly how to upsell, you know, the same people into a second level offer. So the first week, actually, the after the event, they sold for $32,000. So it was 16 clients who bought the 1,000 offer and plus the, you know, the amount of the tickets. Mm -hmm. And um, and the next week, they sold for $315,000 more with a 30K offer. Wow. Even their the marketing community. team, even their marketing team were like in shock. They were like, oh, wow, it, it worked. Yes, it worked because there is clients out there, you know, willing to pay to acquire certain knowledge or sometimes to fast track something in their business to acquire more, you know, uh, maybe just to live an experience. Sometimes people will pay a lot of money just to live an experience. And That's this, so true. yeah, exactly. Just two, three weeks ago, three weeks ago, I had a client. He has a group, a Facebook group with 300 people in it. That's a very small group. Mm -hmm. 300 people. I showed him exactly how to create a masterclass. And he actually converted nine people out of 20. He has only 20 people in his masterclass. And he converted nine of them into 25K sales. Wow. So that's a multi-figure, multi-six figure sell in two weeks. Because this is the time it frame it takes, you know, the time to, you know, create like the masterclass and then bring people into the masterclass, pre-qualify people to the masterclass and then meet, close those people that were there. So I have a specific, you know, um, approach for that, but it works all the time. And this is actually what I'm, I have been teaching, you know, recently how to craft first <laughs> your offer and second, <laughs> how to, you know, use like a invite only my masterclass VIP style <laughs> yes. presentation to convert you know, people into super high ticket uh, buyers. That is just incredible, incredible. And I hope you are taking notes. I hope you're just having to pause this, rewind it. Like, what does she say? Yes, you can convert into six figures if you just put the offer out there. We don't know what we don't know. And if we don't ask, right, if we have something special, first of all, we have to know our worth that the time mm -hmm. that we invested, the amount that we have invested in our personal growth and the expertise that we acquired, just like Dominique shared with us, that all is of value. That's something that you can't take with you and it's something that you can share and people are going to pay for it. Am I correct in restating that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and actually, when you said, you know, no, somebody told me something very funny recently and I... I think I, I will drop it here. When you say know your worth, somebody told me, okay, you will you will give me your hand and I will pay you like $100 million. And it's like, uh, no, <laughs> I'm keeping <laughs> it. So why? Because me, myself, I, I have no price. I'm priceless, you know? Yeah. We are priceless. Our knowledge is priceless. Actually, the price does... Actually, clients, they, they don't care about you. That, this, is, this is funny, but they don't. The only thing they care about is what's in it for me. Okay, mm -hmm. so what's in it for them? So what's the result? And this is what I, I told you just before, is how you can have, you know, uh, allow them to have a transformation that will last. So maybe it can be with their mindset. It can be with health wealth it can be with you know any area okay wow. and people will actually pay for that to acquire knowledge to live a transformation to get results to live an experience and also sometimes one of the factors that will have someone invest is 
on a level more personal, but if they feel that it's changed their status, okay? Um, I love to give this example. You know, a few years ago, I was looking at the television and there was a, a guy who was just won, I don't remember his name, but he just won, you know, uh, the gold cup, like the champion world cup for tennis. And, uh, and I remember he was kissing the cup and I was thinking how much this cup worth. And I was mm. thinking the, the cup itself, the object worth a certain amount, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe 5k, you know, like to build the cup. But then, oh, because it now is won the first place, it will earn, I think, like a big check of $100,000. Ooh, okay, so that's worth a lot of money. But what worth more is now he is the number one on earth. You know, mm -hmm. he is the best tennis player in the world. Yeah. This is where the value lies. This worth, actually, it's worth uh, a lot. Tons. It's, it's, Tons. You, know? <laughs> it's the price. you cannot put the price on that, you know? Right. So that's the same thing with your offer. How can you, you know, transform the way people see their themselves or yeah. their status because the moment, by the way, the moment you're starting to sell at 25K, your status change. And even like just with yourself, like, hey, the first time you sell that kind of offer, you think, I got lucky. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I got, I, let me pinch I myself, there, see if this is I real. I didn't realize yet that I don't worth that much, you know? And then you get a second and then the third you know, a uh, buyer and you're like, oh no, maybe I'm doing something good. You know, yeah. maybe pe people believe that I can, you know, give them a result, a transformation that will worth the amount of money they're putting in me right now. Yeah, that is definitely a mindset that we definitely have to tap into more. Just that belief that it, it's doable. Obviously, uh, Dominique has proved it. I, I've seen others use this tactic of, again, I have bought into uh, these um, high ticket um, investments because I know the value that I'm going to get at the end of it if I do the work, right? Because it all depends. Yes. We're definitely putting that type of money out there. It's We can't guarantee it, but we're going to give you all the tools necessities needed to get there but ultimately we have to work together on it right and we as the uh purchaser has to make sure that we have that leadership and that mindset and that discipline to make sure that we absorb everything and make that a reality into our world because it's possible and sky's the limit so i am just in awe of everything you actually have shared i didn't know it uh, what you did to this extent until right now. And this is what I love about bringing people. It's not just about just having a virtual coffee, finding out what people do um, in one sitting, but having multiple conversations using these platforms that we have to showcase um, and, and share with the world and see how we can all build and win together, right? Um, so it, it's just, a privilege that I get to, you know, get to know you through, you know, saying yes to giving my permission to say, you know what, I'm going to invest in this community and I'm going to get to know people. We have a conversation, we get on the podcast and then, you know, years from now, we're going to be talking about this podcast, like, oh my goodness. <laughs> and, you know, and we'll all be at different statuses and different levels, but what are you going to do today to make that change, to make this all possible? for you. So I want to give you the floor, give you the last few words you want to share with our audience. How can people get a hold of you? And um, yeah. So actually every week I'm hosting myself, you know, a masterclass. So it's not a regular webinar where I, I will just be talking about myself for 20 minutes and then pitch an offer. No, it's a real uh, two hours of your content. And this is something very important because elite clients, they know the drill. They know how it works, you know? And actually they are, they have a budget, you know? Usually every year, you know, I will spend between 20, 50K per year in self-development or to, you know, attend some events or to be part of some mastermind. Once you tasted it and you saw like how it boosted your own business, 
you have that kind of budget, you know? And even for the first buyers, the people that never invested that much, uh, you know, in, in, in themselves, this switch, when this, when someone is creating this switch of, you know what, I'm investing, you know, 25K in myself. Oh, just a little parenthesis. Um, you know, when you buy something very expensive, like for an example, I don't know, if you buy like a Dior purse, $16,000. You will not tell yourself, oh, I'm giving $16,000 into the bank account of DR. No, you will think I worth it. I'm investing in myself, you know, I, I'm gifting this, <laughs> this product. So that's the same thing when you are, you have your own 25k offer that you can propose to people. People are investing in themselves, you know, so I'm crafting this masterclass like every week I have a, I'm just taking 20 people to each presentation because I love to have people fill the form and tell me exactly what are their challenges and how I can serve them during the presentation. So it's a live presentation where I'm giving for two hours, you know, how to craft a 25k offer, where to find those elite clients willing to pay five, six figure to work with you. And I'm giving a lot of case studies on how I helped a lot of coaches, consultants, uh, group owners, podcast hosts, <laughs> you know, uh, how I help them, you know, to start selling 25K offers. So actually they can just uh, request an invite. I think you will will share the, the link to my masterclass. Yes. So it's every yeah. week you fill the form. And, uh, and we'll take a look at your application to see if you're fit for the masterclass. Absolutely. So I will definitely be dropping the form in the show notes um, and the comments below so that you can definitely uh, tap into what Dominique has to offer. That's super insightful. Thank you so much for giving your time. It's all about, you know, when you're in this entrepreneurial space, we're always thinking about the bottom dollar, but sometimes even these uh, free, you know, two hour sessions, one hour sessions, you can get a ton of value and a Absolutely. bigger picture of what the coaching or anything else has to offer. And, and that's what we want. We want to look for real, authentic, um, genuine people that are willing to give up that time um, to really share the tools. But there's so much more that goes beyond that. Um, and, and building those connections and relationships are for a lifetime. So just share a few last words on someone to, um, to someone who may be in that space right now. Like I have this idea, I want to move forward, I, I want to scale, I want to do something more than what I'm doing today, what I did yesterday, what would you tell them? Uh, and how this, should they take action? This is true that usually you, you know, you know, deep down that there's more for you, you know, it, you know, there's absolutely no doubt. You just don't know how to reach it. So I think that the, the best advice, and you will hear that from every coach's mentor out there is to get the mentor. Get someone with a blueprint that will just show you, you know, super fast. Uh, instead, because, you know, we can eventually reach a million dollar in income. We can reach the next level in our business. But because we never did, done it before, it will take us forever, you know. But like look around and find someone that can help you. Like for an example, if you want a 25K offer, no problem, I can show you. And, <laughs> but you see, it takes two weeks to my clients to start working with me and then start selling the offer. What could take you how many years to finally reach that kind of level? Actually, it took me years to, you know, be confident enough to dare request this kind of pricing. I remember I, I, the first time I, I was coaching people, I, it was like six meeting with me for 600. And then eventually it became, you know, a little bit more. And then it became 10K and 12K. And eventually I decided to, you know what, let's just request 25, 50K now for clients to pay to work with me. And this is how actually I reached that kind of level and the difference between me and my clients is they are, you know, um, 
lucky enough to, instead of passing five years to figuring this out, what took me five years, they, they, they do it like in size of two weeks and they're getting like incredible results. I love that. I'm not sure what just happened there, but we came back. Yes. Um, <laughs> I continue, <laughs> yes. I continue talking. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for being a guest, Dominique. You're absolutely uh, amazing. I love what you're doing. Um, just dare. Dare yourself to take that next step. Take that leap of faith. Trust me. Um, I don't think any person that I've had as a guest that came on would ever steer you any other way but just do it try it the results come when you just take action you know that when you sit still nothing is definitely gonna happen right there's nothing that's gonna happen if you just stay still but thank you so much Dominique. thank you for joining the bomb family here and sharing your wisdom um i know this is gonna go a long way for sure. I'll definitely share the information. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Building a Leadership Mindset Podcast. Again, I'm your host, Nikki C, all the way from Philadelphia, PA. Have a great day. And as I always say, make it count.